Good morning, everybody. Let's roll out the back. We're gonna start with lower back, okay? We'll go to hips, and we will use two tennis balls in your lower back. So, just gonna start nice and relaxed on our back, knees bent, and just put the tennis balls right kind of above the sacrum, above the sacrum, in that little part of your back that kind of indents and arms anywhere you want them. And then I want you to just do a little pelvic tilt up and down. Lifting the tail and dropping the tail. And when you come up, it kind of takes the pressure off the balls I think it just that little tail tuck but then when you drop in back is an extension and then it's a little more pressure do it a couple times feel what you feel do they feel equal do the sides feel equal a few more so that the tennis balls are on either side of your either side right above the little bony parts of your sacrum. Roll them up like an inch. Go ahead and roll them up an inch. And keep tail tucking. Feel the balls kind of just go up your spine and down your spine. One inch up, one inch down. As you tuck, you can feel as you tuck, they're gonna lift up drop into that little indentation lower of your lower back. Those muscles get pretty tight. Good. So let's take the balls out. And then I want you to sit up. This will be different. This is going to be more movement. Um, you're going to just take your knees at 90-90. And I don't know if you can see, but the front leg is internally rotated. I mean, the back leg's internally rotated, the front leg's externally rotated. Can you see? Good. I think you can see. 90-90, to the best of your ability. Arms out, let's put them on our shoulders, and then just twist, and twist. Get taller. So we're just adding mobility to our spine. And if you're like me, this is pretty tight. This is, this is tight. One more. So I'm going to ask you what your mid spine is doing right between your shoulder blades. Go ahead and do the other side. Just pull your legs to a 90 90. Doesn't have to be exactly 90. Just as whatever is comfortable. Try to keep the hips down and just rotate. And as you rotate, get tall, really tall. And just easy does it. Just turn. When you go to the direction the legs are to be easier and then this way probably a little harder but go ahead and just keep turning a couple more and then I want to do the t-spine and the hips okay back and hips we're going to try to hit everything today so go ahead and put the balls in between your shoulder blades we're going to go for t-spine better pay attention to the clock since I'm trying to get so much accomplished <laughs> in rolling in 15 minutes. Go ahead and right between the shoulder blades, where, wherever they feel good. Wherever they feel good. And you can start to roll. If you want to just take your bum up and roll, you can. That's a lot of pressure. But if you don't, you can just keep your bum down and then just roll. It's kind of shimmy north to south, <laughs> up and down. So right between your shoulder blades, you're just trying to loosen up a little bit. Then you can change the ball's position, maybe up or down. I'm going up. When I go up, it's actually more intense, but it feels good. And uh, I'm just gonna shimmy north to south uh, on the balls. And now I'm going to do an arm movement, which is very typical of this rolling I like to do, up and over. 
So as you take the um, arms over your head, you might feel a little something. You can kind of rock east to west. <laughs> and then do it again. Inhale and exhale. Ah, release. We could do Supta Baddha Konasana. We're going to be working with hips today, so you can open them up. Inhale and exhale over your head. Just really waking up your body. Uh, let's do the snow angels. So bend your elbows. Rest your forearms on the floor. And then just drag your arms along the floor and over your head. Start to just go. Ah. Releasing what you need to release. Breathing in what you need to breathe in. You can use another breath it doesn't have to be yoga breath you can just like ah oh, just really release the the stress and the tension in your upper back so we're going to do that exercise again and as you go over your head you may be able to get a stretch with straight arms clasp your hands palms face away oh my gosh that just feels good just a long arm a long spine just a couple more snow angels. You can take a stretch at the top and then snow angel back. A long stretch, snow angel. And then come on up. We're gonna do that stretch again. I want you to feel the difference. Legs go to one side. You're gonna just twist. Let's see if you feel anything different in your T-spine, in the mid-spine. You might feel something in your hips, I do. Just sitting in this position is a big stretch. Just a couple more. And we're gonna keep going with movement to get us ready for yoga. I'm gonna do the other side. Just flip your legs to the other side. Mm, here we go. Arms any way you want them. Exhale on your stretch. You know, this feels so good. Okay, we're going to keep stretching. I wrote down something. Okay, cat cow. So I'm going to just face sideways. I'm going to be on my um, heels, and I just want you to hold your thighs and roll back into your cat. And then go ahead and just take your arms behind you. That's your cow. Arch your spine. Good. Roll down. Spine back. Good. Inhale, arms back. Exhale, arms forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, arch. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Is your spine feeling more supple yet? <laughs> It probably takes a whole lot more than that, than this for me. I'm just trying to get it loosened up all the way forward. It's certainly warm enough for yoga to feel loose, but sometimes in the heat we don't sleep that well. I've been hearing that a lot. It's hot. Mm, we're not used to it in Ventura. Good. One more. Inhale. Exhale all the way forward. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to do a down dog twist. So it's not really like a, a typical down dog. You're going to be much closer together with the legs and arms. Okay, so walk them in. And just twist. All I want you to do is twist to the opposite leg and replace the hand. This is going to be more of a movement. You're not going to hold it. Just go like that. Hello. <laughs> and other side. Keep going. And as you feel, you can pull more. And you can have your hands closer to your feet and the pull can be on your thigh too. It can be anywhere. Feel the stability in the shoulder girdle. As you pull, that arm that's down, I want you to 
on the right arm, you it's clockwise. You're just like pulling the, the elbow down. So I don't want you to get your shoulder up in your ear. And the other way would be counterclockwise. The left arm's down, you spin it counterclockwise. If that makes sense, you're kind of spinning your elbow back. Two more. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Great job. Come on down to your knees. And then we're going to do a gate pose. So this one will be leg out to the side and your other leg. And you're going to flex at the waist. So just flex down like that, okay? Push your hips back a bit. Now you feel a stretch in this straight leg, huh? Lift an arm and shoot through to that straight leg. All the way to your shoulder. Good. Lift it up and shoot through. Lift it up. You're gonna be so warmed up for yoga. Good, shoot through. One more, and shoot through. And then you're just gonna do the other arm in this position. Up, shoot through, all the way to your shoulder. Up we go. And you're getting a lot of rotation in your spine, but you're also getting this inner thigh here. Up we go, and down. Just do one more on this side, okay? So I'm gonna run out of time. Good, shoot through. Very nice. Get other leg goes out. So I want you to really open up, try to get the chest open, and reach through and drop down to your shoulder. That's where you'll get the inner thigh stretch. Go ahead a couple more. One more. Good, other arm, okay, almost through. Here we go, up and down. We're getting the hips warmed up, we're getting the shoulders warmed up, we're getting the spine, the T-spine, the lower spine, we're twisting everything. Neck, look up at your hand, get a little rotation in the neck. Couple more, inhale, exhale, inhale, Excellent job. Good. Check the time. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you for one ball right hip. Okay, we have two minutes. One minute for each hip. <laughs> so go ahead and just roll around. Get right in the juicy part of your hip. And then I want you to take the knee out and straighten it. Knee in, knee out, straighten it out. Inner thigh. All the way out. Good. In and out. And one more. In and out. Now hold it out. Go for the trigger point. Hold it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more trigger point. Roll around. Get it right where you want it and just hold it. Seven, six. Really release stress. Release anything that you feel like you need to let go of right now. Just let it go. <sighs> Throw it away. It's done. <laughs> it's over. You don't need to think about it anymore. Especially those things that we don't have any control over. Let them go. Left hip. Quick, quick, quick. We're going to go in and out. Okay? In and out. Knee in and out, and we're going to straighten it out. Big, open inner thigh. And with that exhale, I hope you're just letting go of anything you need to let go of. And you're right in the juicy part of your hip, right in the middle. And we're going to hold it out on the next one. Hold it out. Roll around a little bit, get it right where you want it, and breathe seven seconds. Six, five, four, three. One more. Roll around, find another spot, 
and then just let it sink in that one. You know we could do this for like 20 more minutes and it would feel great, but we don't have time. If you guys ever want to do this at night, you can text me and I will do it before bed. It's before bed is the best time. You will sleep like a baby. Okay, take them out. Supta Baddha Konasana, you can start here. And I am gonna use the ladies' room. I'll be right back to start Vinyasa Flow. I hope you guys are all doing great. Good morning, everybody. If you're just joining, we're going to do start with a easy sequence on our backs. Right leg will pull into your chest. Left leg is bent or long. Just pull it in. But pull it in so it compresses your right ribs. And then walk yourself up to your foot. Or, or if you can't, you can hold your thigh. But if you can hold your foot, you're going to compress your right side of your belly. Pull in. And so for me, it's a hip stretch. Pull straight in. And then pull behind the thigh. And then I want you to flex your foot back towards your shin. Your toes pulled back towards your shin. Now point. Now flex. Now point. And then I want you to flex and bend, point and straighten, flex and bend. If you have a little more range of motion, you can go up on your calf, point and straighten. Flex and bend, you're compressing your belly, point. Flex and point. Now, take your leg and cross it over. The right hip is gonna stay down. So you're gonna feel the stretch on your right side of your hamstring, the right side of your glute, the right side of your calf. If you can reach your foot, do it. But not, you can hold your thigh, your, your shin, or your foot. And then I'm gonna have you pretend you're gonna stand on that left leg, kick it out. Pull in your belly. And we're gonna try this pose standing. And you can have the knee bent or up, but you're gonna be standing with this right arm twisting back. So you can twist it back, twist a little bit. Pull into your belly. Last four, three, two, one, good. Ah, good, left knee in. Remember this right leg can be straight. Compress the left side of your belly. Holding behind the thigh or the foot, pull in. And the right leg straight or bent, whatever feels good. If it starts to feel okay, you can straighten it. It's always a little bit more stretch when you straighten the other leg. Breathe to really relax your body. Letting go of whatever you need to let go of. Just enjoying the stretch. Holding behind the thigh, straighten the leg. Point the foot, flex the toes, point the toes, flex the toes, good. Flex and bend, point and straighten, flex and bend, point to straighten. 
keep going, flex and bend. Point and straighten. Flex and bend. Point and straighten. One more, flex and bend. Point and straighten. And then hold this and flex your toes back. Hold with the opposite arm and pull it across your body, just a little bit, across the midline. It could be two inches, three inches, four inches, but the left hip is on the floor still. So just the leg is crossing. Twist with your belly. If your hand reaches your foot, great. If it doesn't, shin or thigh is good too. Kick the right leg into the air like you're standing on it. You can twist up, left arm goes behind you. Pull into your belly, pull the left leg a little higher. Relax down. Take your knees to 90. We're just gonna press the back down. And maybe the feet are higher than the um, knees a little bit, okay? And then, so you can see your toes. Pull your back down, pull it down, and push on your thighs and pull your thighs towards you. So isometric contraction for the abdominals. Pull down, pull your back flat. Keep breathing. Because <laughs> it's a lot of work, so don't hold your breath. Every time you exhale, pull your belly in. Keep pulling in. Release the left leg straight. Keep pulling in, right leg. Switch. Pull your back flat. We're starting to work now. <laughs> Switch again. Switch again, back flat. So in order to get the back flat, you may have to pick up that straight leg. Do it again. Switch. Keep breathing, keep breathing, and one more. Good. Now we're gonna twist. So you're just gonna twist up, twist up, twist up, twist up, twist and hold, doesn't matter which side. Pulse up on the outside of the leg. You just got about eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side, twist and hold. A little pulse to that side. Excellent work, right in the middle. Push and hold. The thighs are pulling in. You're pushing away with everything you've got. Flatten your back. Rock up to boat. You can hold or let go. Low boat. Right away, a lot of abs. I know it's a lot of abs. Lift up, drop down. You can keep holding. You can bend your knees. Can you do four more for me? Four, three, two. Right into plank, hold. You can be on your knees or elbows. You're holding tail tuck. Squeeze your bum. Pull your front hip bones to your ribs. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Back of your head is lifting. <laughs> we just did the abs, so this will feel harder. Can you hold a few more seconds? Pull the little points of your elbows back. Open up your chest. Come to your tippy toes. Make it harder. Four, three, two. Drop to your belly. Take your legs a little wide. Tent your fingers. Come on up. Good and down. Inhale, exhale up. This is just an undulation of the spine. Whatever your spine feels like doing. It could be all the way up. It could be all the way down. Or it can be tiny. Whatever you feel like you need. Are your glutes tight? Yes, they are, and they're tail tucked. We're gonna come up. We're gonna be looking over the shoulder. I'm gonna try right shoulder first, okay? And then your left leg will come forward, scissoring right leg back. Are you ready? Look over your right shoulder, left leg. Here we go, look at your right leg, it's going back. 
and roll down. Come up, look over your left shoulder, right leg goes forward, look at your left leg. Roll down, do it again. Good, roll down. Look over your left shoulder, left leg is back, good. Two more, right leg. How you guys doing? Roll it down, roll all the way up and down three times. Ah, oh, good, one more, roll up, hold it up to wherever you go. Glutes are tight, tail tuck. Crown of your head is straight up, looking straight forward. You can walk your legs back. Good, big breath in, big breath out. Oh, all the way down. You're going to down dog. <sighs> Inhale and exhale in your dog. Little points of your elbows back. Good, press into your legs. Press your hips back. Mm -hmm. Press the sits bones back. Take your right leg up. That feels good, just like that. Open the hips, stack the hips, bend the knee. Look under your right arm. Good. And then you're gonna bring that right leg forward for a little low lunge, left knee drops. So all I want you to do here is just press. And you can translate that shin over the ankle a little bit. I just want you to translate back and forth. Wherever you go. You're just warming up the ankle joint, but you're also stretching your back hip, huh? Left hip. Do you want to do some circles? Just make a circle with your tailbone. Other way. You can do this with your hands on your thigh or the floor. And then center up. Let's just have fun with this lunge. Lift your arms up, like in a, a Y. Thumbs back, palms facing one another. Pinky fingers forward, and just press into your left hip. Can you pull your ribs up? Maybe you lift your gaze, maybe you don't, but you're in the lunge for four, three, two, and one. Drop your arms, take your right leg back, and just rock with your toes together, knees apart, to a little bit of extension with the, the hips go down. And rock up, kind of like a cat cow, back and forward. And then as you go back, you round, as you come forward, let the shoulder blades kind of come together. It's an inner thigh stretch too, do you feel that? You can even lift your feet up. Rock back. Just getting into a little back extension. You've got two more. Drop your belly a little bit. One more. job. Back to your down dog. A few breaths in your dog. Get heavy in the legs, light in the hands, so you're really pressed back. Your ears are between your shoulders. Left leg lifts. You can lift it high if you want. Open the hip, bend the knee, stack the hip, look under your left arm. Bring it in. So we're gonna do that low lunge, drop your right knee. We're gonna translate this shin over the ankle. So then the knee goes over the toes, which is not the typical thing, but I want you to get the ankle nice and warmed up, okay? Just translate over. And then 
set it up for a low lunge where your knee is over your ankle and you can start drawing your circles. When you draw your circles, usually you feel it in the hip flexor. Go the other way. And then set it up so you're ready to just lift your arms into that Y shape. Does anybody need a pillow under their knee? I should have mentioned this. The knees can be a little finicky. So make sure and have a little pillow if your knees are and then just lift up. Take your ribs off your pelvis, lift up, get into that right hip flexor, open up. Three, two, one, take it down. Back to down dog. Heavy in the legs, you can walk your arms back to get heavier in the legs. So you're not weighting your arms too much. The arms are pretty light. Push your hips back. You can be bending your knees too, it's fine. Sometimes the legs are tight. The heels can be up, whatever you feel like is perfect for your body. Your body needs to take the shape that's comfortable for you. Less is more in yoga, less is more. And then walk in so you're in a forward fold. And make those legs nice and wide. Bend your knees generously. Take a bind behind you, shoulders. Open up, open up the shoulders. And then put your left uh, shoulder on the left knee. Bend the left knee. Look up over your right. You can twist a little deeper. Look up a little bit more over your right if you feel good about it. We'll do the same exact thing. Bend the right knee. Put your right shoulder on the right knee. And then you kick the left leg straight or look up over your left. Take a few breaths here. And then open up a little deeper. Nod your head, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Feels good. Back center. Bend both knees. Let your arms go and put your pinky fingers in the folds of the elbows and start to rock figure eights. You can bend one knee and then the other. Just organically, just kind of rocking around. Let your arms get kind of heavy, reaching them straight overhead. And then let them go. Lift up your spine so it's nice and long. You can walk your feet in. Exhale to fold down. Inhale, awkward forward. Heart coming forward. Exhale to fold. One more. Inhale, offer. Exhale to fold. You can roll up or hinge up, whatever you feel would feel good for your back. Inhale, and we'll come to prayer. Just find a little bit of relaxation here in the body, just relaxing the crown of your head coming up, and then the back body, there's a little bit of energy going down the back body a little bit of energy pulling your belly in. It's not a lot. It's just enough to feel tall. It's not stiff. It's relaxed. Just a little bit of energy. And here we find our intention, our dedication, or our practice. It might be something you want to focus on for yourself. It might be a prayer of peace for the entire world. You can make it very general, very open. Whatever you need today. The vinyasa flow is going to be hips open. Remember to do what feels good for you. Inhale the arms all the way up. Exhale, dive down 
hinge down. Good. Inhale, lift the spine. Exhale to fold. Sierra Namaskar 8. Again, I want you just to come all the way up. Prayer. Inhale up. Exhale all the way down. This time, inhale, heart forward. Exhale to plank. And if you like the chaturangas, you can do them from your knees or feet. Bend the elbows right by your ribs. Lift up into your back extension. Turn over your feet, down dog. You can walk forward or hop. Inhale, exhale to fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale to prayer. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, lift your spine high. Exhale, back to plank. From the knees or feet, you can bend the elbows. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Hopper step, forward fold, inhale, exhale to fold, inhale all the way up, you're gathering energy here, good energy, exhale, heart center, inhale your arms all the way up, I want you to take a side stretch here, to one side, lift up and over, look up, Inhale, other side. Exhale. We're going to take one back extension. Inhale up. Exhale, open your elbows just down. Elbows are going down and back. Lift your heart. Inhale, exhale, dive. Inhale up. Exhale, step back, plank. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Adding on, right leg lifts. Inhale. Exhale, crescent. Bring the right leg forward. Lift up. Exhale, bend the left knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend both knees. Exhale, straighten. Good. One more. Come on down. Hold it. Fly forward. Let's take a bind so then we get the real good shoulders and the chest open, yeah. Just like that, yeah. So we're flying with the left leg coming up if you like, or you can stay right here, okay? Lift the left leg, warrior three. You're flying, arms back. Left knee comes up. Arms come up. Fly back. Practicing balance, bend your right knee. Step back to crescent. Lift your arms high, inhale. We're just gonna fly back into warrior three, so lean forward. Lift off your left leg, balance. Bend your right knee, back to crescent. You've just got one more of those. Inhale, exhale, fly forward. Get your balance on your right leg and lift your left leg off. Warrior three. Bend your right knee, step back to crescent. Lift up. Now I want you to exhale and I'm gonna be turning away from you. Widen your feet, widen your feet. Turning towards the left leg, bend the left knee, straighten the right. Come on down, hands down by your left foot. Good, 
breathe and relax. Start to lift your hands off the mat, come back to crescent. You're gonna move your feet a little bit, okay? We're gonna do it again. This time, just get low, bend the knees, widen your feet a little bit, turn the left toe out, come on over, bend the left knee, straighten the right, skandasana. One more, bend your knees, stay low. Stay low while you make the transfer and come on up to crescent. One more time, you can be like a Tai Chi master, crouching dragon, get low, get low. Come on down, hands or no hands. Here we go. Come on back, bend the knees. Good. Come on up, crescent pose. Take the elbows down by the waist, open the arms. Good, and all the way down, round forward. Take the right leg back, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Breathe and relax, just breathe and relax. Let go, really take the elbows down and back. So they're down, pointed down and back. Get heavy in your feet. Left leg lifts, inhale. Crescent pose, left leg forward, right leg back. Bend the right knee, bend the left knee, come on down. Good, straighten. Come on down, bend both knees. Straighten up. One more, bend. And straighten, last one, bend and hold. Take your arms and clasp them behind you so you get the shoulders open. Lean forward. Open up the chest. You might change the clasp of your arms so it's the awkward way. So from here, you can take the right leg off the ground or not, this is fine as a warrior three prep. Otherwise, you're gonna step up, lift the right leg up. So the hands are on your hips, so your hips stay level. And then pull the right knee up, and arms go over your head. Fly, warrior three, arms go back. Bend the left knee, step back to crescent. Inhale up. Exhale, fly, warrior three. Bend your left knee, step back, crescent. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fly the arms back, step up to warrior three. This is your last one. Bend your left knee, step back crescent, lift up. We're gonna start transferring the weight. So get low, like a Tai Chi master, turn the knees. Bend the right knee, straighten the left, you're down. You can touch the floor or not. Lift up, stay low. Back to crescent. Lift up. Good. Start to get low. Turn the right knee out. Bend the right knee. Come on down, straighten that left leg. Big stretch, left inner thigh. Lift up, bend the knees, and go. Tai Chi, inhale up, you've got one more. 
move slowly. Bend the right knee, send the right hip back, get lower. Come on up, bend both knees. Lift up, inhale. Exhale, elbows back, arch your spine. All the way to your waist, palms up. Inhale up, exhale to the ground. Left leg back, chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Hop or step forward. You can prep it by bending your knees a few times. And then if you want to, you hop. Inhale, exhale to fold or step, bend the knees, chair pose. Send your hips back, take your knees over your ankles so you feel that all the weight in your glutes, push them back. Let's do the elbows back again, so get the chest nice and open, elbows back towards your waist, palms up, good. Now we're gonna take the left leg off the ground, bend the knee, cross it over. Seated chair, hands come to prayer. Lift up, left knee comes up, twist to the left. Option to straighten the left leg up and hold it by the foot. Just an option. Bend it. Back to seated chair one more time. Undo your left foot. Back to chair pose. Lift your arms up. Good. Now option to stay here, just a strong chair, or you're gonna come down with the arms on the right side of your body. Tippy toe, lock in your triceps to the right thigh and lean over until you're in a side crow. Lift your feet up. Coming out. Into prayer, everybody, into a side twisted chair to the right. Pull into your belly. And then fold over your legs. Inhale to lift your spine long. Exhale to fold. Inhale to come up. Exhale to arch back, elbows wide. We're gonna do a side stretch again, okay? So inhale, exhale to one side. Look up over your shoulder. Open that shoulder. Take another breath here. Lift a little taller and exhale over. Beautiful, and inhale. Exhale to the other side. Open up the shoulder. That one, that side you're stretching, that shoulder's open. Can you go a little deeper? Take another breath. Inhale and exhale over. Good, inhale and exhale. We're going back one more time. Tighten up your glutes, lift your chest up. Lift it up. <laughs> Good, inhale, exhale to chair. Just pushing your hips back. Cactus the arms here if you 
like. It just feels better for the chest to be open. We're gonna lift the right knee, arms overhead, and twist to the right leg. So this is a great place to stay. You're just holding the left arm to the right thigh. Great place to stay. Otherwise, you hold your right foot and straighten it out. Get taller, reach back further, twist into the belly. Seated chair. your knee up. I did it in a different order last time I realized. We're going to do one more seated chair. Let's go. You can go lower on the second one if you like. You're back into chair pose. Set your hips back. Cactus the arms. So if you want to do the side crow, you'll come down onto your tippy toes and take the arms to the left side and then you'll plant your hands and you will bend your elbows. Pull your knee all the way up. Get tight on that left side. Take a big inhale and exhale, tip over, bend. Gently come out. Those of you that are in chair and those of you that are in side crow, we're going to twist to the left. Lift up the left elbow, twist through your belly. Lift your belly off your thighs, twist from your tail to the crown of your head. But especially from your belly button, twist. And bow, inhale. Long spine, exhale. Widen your legs and put your hands underneath your feet for gorilla. Inhale, lift, exhale. Elbows go wide, pull down. Go ahead and let go of that. Walk your feet back in. Walk your feet out to a plank. Drop onto your elbows. Clasp your hands. And then you're just going to rock forward and back. So tap your chin to your knuckles and then rock back. You've got nine more. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two more, mm, one more. Hold, chin on your knuckles. Right hand, left hand, down dog. Push your hips back. Right leg lifts, inhale. Take your right leg forward for warrior one. Spin your left heel down. Come on up, warrior one. Twist your hips forward. Take a bind. So warrior one is a great humble warrior, is a great place to go for um, hips. So, but I like to use the width of my mat because my hips are pretty tight, so. Go ahead and get as wide as you like and dip your right shoulder inside your right knee. Head down.
Let go of your arms and walk them over to the left, just away from your right knee, and give your arms a big stretch, like a down dog stretch. I want you to change the direction of your feet. Keep walking your arms around to the middle and do a wide angle forward fold. Okay, just drop in. Slightly pigeon toed. <laughs> This is just such a lovely stretch. Big down dog arms, like the biggest down dog you've ever done. Press back. You can flip your fingers, pinky fingers down, palms to face one another for external rotation of the shoulders. Come on in, walk on in, and lift your right arm up. Drop it down, lift your left arm up. Ah, oh, twist, T-spine again. So what we're gonna do here is walk back around to the right foot for pyramid, okay? The right toes will face forward, the left foot's gonna step in, and you're gonna bow. If you wanna bow in prayer behind your back, go for it. The hands can be pointed down, fingers, the fingers can be pointed up. You can grab your elbows, or you can just have your hands on the floor. All the variations of pyramid. But bow over your right leg and hold for about three more breaths. Really release any tension you might have. And from here, we're gonna go into revolved triangle. You're gonna take the left hand down on your leg or floor. It can be inside your foot or outside your foot. Lift the right arm up. Fingertips is nice for space. You can just lift the right arm high. A block is also good. Pull your belly in, twisting from the belly button up. We're gonna do one more stretch here. So you'll take the right arm forward of your foot and lift the left leg up, half moon. We're gonna twist the other way. Lift up, left arm up. We're gonna bend the right knee, place the left foot down, straighten the right leg triangle. The left, arm's on, uh, the left arm's up and the right hand is on your leg or floor. Arm over your head if you like. It feels so good for your waist and your back. If, if it does, do it. If it doesn't, then it could be too much for you. Wide angle forward fold. <laughs> Press back. This time, suction cup your hands down. Walk your feet in, inhale, lift your spine long, exhale to fold. Inhale all the way up, good. Exhale, arch back. Inhale, exhale to the side. We'll do one more of these. Opening the side body, inhale, exhale over to the other side. Inhale up, go back, exhale to fold. Inhale, lift and exhale back to plank. You can do a chaturanga or right to down dog, your choice. When you're ready, left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, the left leg in, you're gonna be doing warrior one. Lift up. And remember we use the mat, the width of the mat. You can do that again. Turning the hips to the left. Arms back, take a bind. And bow inside the left leg. Lift the arm 
arms overhead. Let go of the arms. We're gonna walk around to the right, just about a quarter of the way with down dog arms, okay? Little down dog arms right here, about a quarter of the way. Pull your hips back. Walk center, turn your feet, pigeon toe. Walk your hands in. This time, um, we can do an arm balance if you like. So you'll take your hands down. Your head will be slightly in front of your hands for a tripod. Or you can do headstand, anything you like. Your thighs can go on your triceps. You can lift your legs overhead, one leg or two legs or no legs. Just enjoy your inversion. Your inversion can simply be the fold, which is great too. So just enjoy it, whatever you're doing. Couple more breaths in your inversion. <sighs> Coming out if you're in an inversion. Placing your hands down underneath your shoulders, lift your right arm up. Twist. This is T-spine. Really trying to work from that mid-spine. We've been doing a lot of that lately. It gets so tight there, so it's very nice to work it. Here we go, left arm up. Good. And then from here, you'll walk to your left foot. Turn your left toes forward. Step your right leg in. So you have a couple feet between your legs and slightly staggered like railroad tracks. And you're gonna fold over your leg. And we gave a choice. You can do reverse prayer behind your back. You can do a prayer fingers down. You can hold your elbows so you get the shoulders open. You can just let your arms go. Or I guess you could clasp your arms and let them fall. That feels pretty good too. Do whatever is the best one for you. And then your right arm will go down for reverse triangle revolved. The left arm up. The, the right arm can be on your leg, left leg, or it can be on the floor, inside or outside your foot, left arm up. Twist. I want you to pull in your belly, <laughs> really protecting your lower back, twist up. I like to get on my fingertips to give me a little bit more space between my ribs and my hips and everything. Left arm down, it's gonna go slightly in front of your left leg, about 12 inches. And then I'm gonna pick up the right leg and the right arm for half moon. Bend the left knee. Step the right leg back in line with the left heel, triangle. Straighten both legs. Left arm on your left leg, right arm up. If you wanna take your right arm over your head, do it. Wide angle forward fold, turn your toes in, come on down. Maybe you get your elbows down again.
walk into your left foot, turn the feet forward, and then just take yourself back to a down dog. Points of your elbows down. Lift your right leg high. Open the hip, bend the knee. We're gonna do pigeon today, so the right knee will go to the right wrist. So bring it in. And relax down. Left leg goes straight back. You could bolster your hip with a pillow if you like. Inhale, arms out to the side. Exhale to bow. Inhale, arch your spine. Up we go, exhale, down. Inhale, arch. Good, one more. Up you go. Resting pigeon, come on down. Anybody likes king pigeon, you can do it. Left knee bends, reaching back to hold it. Lots of ways to do it. You can pull it in. Just pulling the heel to your glute is great for your quad. Mermaid is to hook the foot into the elbow and the right arm lifts or binds behind. I'm too tight today to do that. I'm just gonna pull on my quad. And we're gonna start to let it go. You're gonna take the back leg forward and the right leg is gonna be right on your, um, still bent on your inner thigh. You're gonna inhale towards the straight left leg and bow. So you have a little bit of a twist going, so you'll feel it more on the right side. Just go ahead and relax, please. Just relax. Allow the left leg to just completely relax and stretch out. And of course, the right side is getting a lot of stretching here. Pull the toes back. Twist towards the bent knee, left arm to the right knee, the bent knee, right arm up and over. And you can take the right shoulder back, stretch the elbow up, or take the arm over your head. Big stretch for your right ribs. A couple more breaths here. So we have this stretch. We're gonna take the right arm and let it go. Take it behind you, over by the, back behind the right hip. Lift up. And then just come on down. Same stretch, back and over. And arch up, right arm goes down, lift up. And when you do this, just push your hips forward, arm back. One more. One more time, push your hips forward. Just tighten up the gluteals. Good, you ready for the other side, guys? Down dog. Lift the left leg high, open the hip, bend the knee. Pull your left knee to your left wrist and have a seat. Right leg straight behind you. Breathing into your stretch. Inhale, lift your head and spine high. Exhale, down, bow. Inhale to lift. Exhale to bow. 
undulating the spine, roll up, arch your spine, inhale, exhale, roll down, roll up, peel your spine up, just one more, down and up, good, and resting pigeon, come on down, wherever you want to go. pigeon. If you did the quad on that back leg, you can do it on this leg too. Just do whatever version. Make sure you do it equally. If it's tight, you can do like me where I'm just trying to get my heel in. Sometimes for me, I do a little oscillation. I don't hold it, but I just go in and out of it. It feels better, especially when I'm tight. And the mermaid's an option, binding the arms. We're going to let that go. Let it go. Easy does it. Right leg comes in front of you straight. Left leg is still bent. Inhale, twist to your right leg and bow. And the left arm's kind of sweeping across so you get that big side stretch. Just let it go. Pulling in the belly. You get support for your lower back. And again, if it feels better to come in and out, you can do that. And the right arm is going to go to the left knee and then left arm up and over. Notice the difference between your two sides. Maybe they're equal, maybe they're not. But breathe into these ribs. You get them nice and open here in this pose. Just breathe. And then coming with the left arm behind you, reaching up, pushing your hips forward. Right arm back. Good, two more. Side stretch. Arching. Side stretch. Careful, easy does it. Arching. Take your legs out in front of you. Holding on to your legs, bent knees, feet flat on the floor. Just roll back. Place the arms down beside you. Shoulders nice and open, just chest open, shoulders open, hands flat on the floor by your hips. Line up your feet with your hips and bridge, lift up. Roll down bone by bone. You've got three of these in a twist and we are done. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. Bridge pose. Do you want to clasp underneath you? Tail tuck at the top as you go deeper. Maybe you're going to do a tippy toe bridge. Make it your own shape. And you can hold it or come down, bridge or wheel. The hands can be behind you, fingers pointed towards your gluteals. Plant your feet, inhale, exhale, and push up.
whenever you're ready, you'll come down. And windshield wiper the legs back and forth with the knees bent and the feet pretty wide. And we're gonna do one more little twist stretch. So go ahead, take the knees to the right, hold. Pull your left heel to your left glute. Take your right foot if you want, just uh, option to put the right foot on the left knee to drag it down, quad stretch. Nice and easy, let it go if your foot's there. I want you to windshield wiper a few times. Remember the feet are pretty wide. And then when you're ready, you can take the knees to the left. And hold. Pull the right heel to the glute. Option to take your left foot on your right knee, drag it down. Just make sure it feels good. This right leg's getting internal rotation. To end our class today, we'll do a Supta Baddha Konasana, if you like. The soles of your feet will be together in a diamond shape, so undo slowly, slowly. Rock around on your back. That's a big twist for your back, since the hip flexors are a lot attached to your spine. And just go ahead and take the soles of your feet together. Let the knees just rest out. Arms in a cactus. This is your class pose. We're not doing anything else, so just relax and breathe. Recharging your batteries. Letting it in, letting everything come in. Love from your friends. Remember, even though we're online, we're gonna feel the love, I do. You can feel it just coming through from all your friends that are practicing, sharing. That light, that positive spirit. And whenever you wanna let go of the Supta Baddha Konasana, you can and just rest your legs out where you can stay in it. It's up to you. Whatever pose you choose, make sure it just feels great. Bent knees resting on one another is good. Relaxing the spine, relaxing the belly so it can really, really inflate with the inhale deflate with the exhale. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out, completely relaxing every muscle in your body. letting go. Most of our feelings and emotions arise from narrow perceptions and incomplete understanding. Our ways of looking, listening, reacting, and judging make us and our loved ones suffer. We have ideas about happiness and suffering, 
that we can't let go of, though we know that by letting go of them we'll be happier and more peaceful in body and mind, and the, pain, and the painful feelings and emotions would no longer have a basis to arise. We tend to think if we let go, we'll lose the things that make us happy, but the opposite is true. The more we let go, the happier we become. Letting go doesn't mean we let go of everything. We don't let go of reality, but we let go of wrong ideas and perceptions about reality. Letting go. Maybe you have something you want to let go of. Maybe you don't. So staying seated coming seated if you like, or if you don't want to, then you can stay in your savasana. I invite you to do that. But if you're coming to seated, lift your hands over your head and bring your hands to your heart center. May you have a peaceful day, a peaceful week, and all those around us the same. Um, I hope that uh, you had a good practice and I hope you feel good and go out and enjoy your day. Namaste. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Stay cool. <laughs> it's so hot. Bye-bye. <laughs>